in the Instant Pot, take some stew meat or some kind of beef steak or chicken or pork and just cut it into small pieces and then brown it on saute. Next you're going to take a packet of Lift Lipton Beefy Onion I use for beef. They have one also that's got a chicken flavor. I don't know if they got one for pork or not, but either the chicken or the beef will also work for pork. You're going to put one packet of that into the Instant Pot with one third of a cup of water. After you add the Lipton packet and the water, this is what it looks like. Next you're going to add baby potatoes. Next, give that mixture a stir with your baby potatoes, your meat. If it looks like that it's getting a little too dry, add a little bit more water, which I'm getting ready to do right now. Next, add you some mixed vegetables. I just used a uh, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. That's what I'm using. Give it a good stir. I also added more water. You can kind of see it there. Next, you're going to put the instant pot lid on for five minutes I now have the instant pot lid on I'm gonna set it to pressure cook four or five minutes is good actually I think I'm only going to do four minutes because this is really just like a serving for one really you just got to make sure that your potatoes are cooked all the way through so four minutes we'll see what it's like you could also take one of your stands if you have one and I do this sometimes and one of your pans you could actually put this in the instant pot over top of the meat and vegetables and then you can add an equal amount of rice and water so half cup rice half cup water one cup rice one cup of water if it's more than one person and uh, just leave it on for the same amount of time but I'm gonna skip the rice today and just do the uh, beef with the lip, with the soup mixture and the vegetables. All right, somebody was asking me how I know when the Instant Pot cook timer is actually done. So we got one minute left. And whenever you're cooking meat, you need to let it do a natural uh, pressure release. And the way that you do that is when that last minute finally goes away you'll see the dial change to L which stands for low and then it'll start counting over again and every digit after the L is how many minutes it's been since the instant pot stopped cooking and generally for meat I wait anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes and we'll see that switch over here in just a minute there we are we're on low and it hasn't even been a minute yet you can also hear an audible sound I can barely hear it because of the hearing damage but basically when that gets it'll say like L008 or L010 then you can actually do the manual pressure if you do it before that, for whatever reason, that causes meat to be tough. So always let meat do a natural pressure release. So I'll bring you back when I do the remaining manual pressure release. Okay, so now we know that we are at the 8 minute mark. I can now go ahead and shut this off by pressing cancel. And then come up to this. Put that down and let it finish releasing pressure. So when that finally stops hissing, you can take the lid off. And this is what it looks like. You can now take 
and uh, serve it either over rice or over bread or however you want to serve it. Really, really good.